remind Susan last night that um, many years ago at the uh, Emerging Technologies Conference in Cancun, I actually saved her life. <coughs> we were uh, on a podium about half this size, and um, I was speaking after Susan, and she was uh, fielding some questions, and she stepped back and fell off the stage, and I caught her. So I might be embellishing, I don't know if I saved her life, but maybe I saved her from twisting her ankle or something. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to the, uh, um, the breakfast that we're sponsoring this morning. I'm going to talk very briefly about the uh, CatSmart. The CatSmart is uh, uh, designed with clinicians in mind, and this is not just, in this case, a, a, a marketing statement. I, I really feel that over the years, um, I used uh, the CATS Plus. We had nine at the institute that I uh, worked at before starting with Terumo. And we loved the device, but there were many things that um, we wish were different. And, and really, Fresenius has, has taken those uh, things into account when they um, have designed the CATSmart. At the heart of the CATSmart is its unique uh, processing. And unlike a bowl system, uh, whether it's a, a Baylor or a Latham Bowl, the um, processing chamber um, ensure, ensures that you have a, a high hematocrit um, all the time. Uh, you don't have to worry or you don't have to sacrifice um, if you need to, uh, in an emergency situation, you get a lot of blood uh, and you need to increase the speed, you do not sacrifice that with um, this proprietary uh, processing system. It's a, a one-size-fit-all. If you work at an institute where you have pediatrics, um, you don't need to have a pediatric bowl and an adult bowl. The, um, the processing chamber, uh, one-size-fits-all. You're never going to get a partial bowl. It has one kit. It has a, a reinfusion bag in the kit, a, wash bag, a waste bag, a, a centrifugal tubing. Um, in, that's the other thing with the Cat Smart. Is it now has a hematic sensor, which I'll talk about in a second, and um, the pump dapper making it uh, easy for installation. The other thing that I like, if you have a, a situation where you have nurses that are utilizing it and they may not utilize this on a daily basis like you do, there is a great help screen um, that is a pictorial tutorial that they can um, refresh their memory how to set it up properly. Uh, a new screen. It's a touch screen. And the other thing that I, I think is very cool about the design is that everything on the Cat Smart um, that is blue is a touch point. And so it's ergonomically designed, and those touch points even go to the screen. So everything um, on the screen that is blue is, a, uh, is, is a, a button that you can change something on the screen. They have, uh, they have basically diluted the number of different modes. If you remember with the Cats Plus or the Cats Classic, there are tons of different modes that you can use. Basically, there are three now. Um, there are, there's the Cat Smart Wash, there's a low volume wash, and there's emergency wash. And what you would use most of the time uh, in your practice would be the Smart Wash, and it delivers red cells anywhere from 20 to 40 milliliters per minute. The other nice thing is that they have added an auto start function. And uh, the auto start is an uh, infrared design, and you can set that to automatically start uh, processing at a level of between uh, 200 milliliters and uh, 3,000 milliliters. The um, PRC sensors uh, directs the system, it's really the brains of it, and start to start pumping uh, to the reinfusion bag when the PRC volume in the wash chamber registers as little as 30 cc's. So you will start getting volume back immediately when there's 30 cc's of packed red blood cells in, the, in that chamber. And unlike the bowl system, as soon as the first volume PRC reaches the bag, it can be accessed immediately. Because the system fills, washes, and empties at the same time, you don't have to wait 30 cc's, you're gonna get volume back. It's quiet, flexible. That was, the main, that was the main issue that people had. I literally have been in the operating room and um, with the Cats Plus and the surgeon's heads down and they're sewing and they would turn on the Cats Plus and the surgeon would stop and say, what the heck is that? Fresenius took care of that. 
literally three of the CAT Smarts devices running together from a noise standpoint equals one of the CATS Plus. They made, the other issue was a footprint. Well, that's a large footprint. Well, they diminished the footprint. It's not the smallest on the market, but it's right there in the middle. It has the ability to adjust the height. Um, you can adjust the heights lower for transport. If you're a tall person, you can adjust it up while you're using it to a higher level. It has a full color touch screen. The uh, smooth gliding wheels that, that turn 360 degrees. It is a bipedal uh, pedal brake system. And as I mentioned, I talked about the improved acoustics. You can um, use data. You can, it has a scanner that if you want to scan um, the uh, product codes, you can do that. You can export data. You can also print data. Compared to if you are a, a CATS user or have used it in the past, um, very equivalent in, in how it functions compared to the CATS Plus. You will never need to sacrifice hematocrit for low um, non-emulsified fat. Not an issue. If you, um, that is not the case with, with a, a bowl system. As you can see some of the numbers here, that with a low volume setting, CAT Smart emergency wash, those are your hematocrits, so the average hematocrit was 60%. I will preface that, that I believe that you're going to see higher than that. Greater than 99% of the non-emulsified fat across all the different wash. Greater than 99% heparin, albumin, protein, potassium, and you can see hemolysis. So CATSmart provides both significantly reducing patient risk because it's getting rid of that non-emulsified fat. And there, there are uh, published papers that have shown that. This is another addition that I think is uh, a, a very uh, cool addition to the CAT Smart in that it now has a, a pre and a post hematocrit sensor. And it tells you on the screen what the hematocrit is of the blood that's coming from your reservoir and what the hematocrit is of the blood that's going into your bag. And these two sensors continuously monitor incoming and outgoing hematocrit, and it can be used as a diagnostic tool. Listen, if you're not seeing 60, 65 percent coming out post hematocrit, then um, you need to have that machine checked out. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice uh, diagnostic tool. This was another issue that people had that Forsini has corrected. Um, they did not like the, the suction that was basically an add-on suction. This is an integrated suction that is right down here. The um, vacuum pump is very quiet. A matter of fact, I had, um, when I was out on an evaluation recently, I had a perfusionist question, are you sure that pump is on? And um, had to say, you know, well, touch your suction here. Very quiet suction device. It uh, runs intelligently in that when um, it's not having active suction, it ramps down the suction a little bit. Everywhere on the screen, you always have the ability to increase or decrease the suction. It's a touch screen. If you want to immediately go to 300, although not recommended, but we know the surgeons sometimes um, want that, you touch one button and it goes, if you're set on 150, it immediately goes to 300. And then it has uh, vacuum pump filters which help protect the operating room environment um, from the smoke and any other contaminants that you're sucking in. So in closing, Really, Fresenius listened to perfusionists. It's not yellow. Um, it's not loud. It has a small footprint. They have upgraded, and it has a touch screen. It has an auto start. They really, truly listen to you. It's quick to start, it's easy to operate, and it's made to perform. Um, now I'd like to have Michelle come up to introduce our next speaker.